Hello and welcome back. So let's begin to code something for our website. Now we're going to need to design quite a number of pages. Now the list of pages is right here. We will need the home page, sign up, login, the view by category for courses, course searching, and then the full view for a course, uh, the course play page, course ratings, messaging, uh, my courses for the instructor to show the instructor what courses they've created, my courses for the student to show the student what courses they've taken, and those that are probably in their wish list. We need a cart, all these are pages. We need a checkout page, uploading of a course, that's one page as well. Instructor statistics for how much they've sold, what students they have. Then a profile page for each user account settings to change those settings for the user and then we have the instructor's public profile the one that uh, people will see when they click to see who this instructor is and then we have what is known as the super admin this is the admin that uh, actually we don't need to call them super admin they can just be admins since the others are instructors so the admin will view be able to see all courses that have been added even approve courses when the instructor submits and then we'll have to see all users or instructors manage course promos that those things you see on the home page and manage user roles who does what in the website so as you can see this is quite an amount of work we're going to be doing so we're going to cut this into small small pieces and do each piece one at a time and we're going to try and make things reusable so that we can just put them, move them around from one page to another in order to design the page that we, so we can get anything that we want. For example, let's say the rating system. If you want to rate, you want to show it somewhere, uh, you can just run one function and it will show up there. Okay, so with that in mind, we will need to design the HTML pages. But before we do that, let's create our routing system because that is, that's what we need first. Okay, so to do this, what I will do now is create a new window. So I'll go file, new window, and we'll have a clean slate to start with. And then I will go to my folder. This is the Udemy folder. I'm going to drag and drop it in my new window. Boom. Okay, there we go. So now we have this uh, templates folder in Udemy. Very nice. Now for now, what we need to create is a folder structure that will determine our website. Okay, so I'm going to right click on Udemy itself and create a new folder. Now this folder is going to be app folder. That's where most of the stuff will happen in the app folder. Okay, now this will be a folder above the public folder on our live server. That means we need a public folder. This public folder is the landing page. So when somebody clicks on www.yourwebsite.com, they're going to land in the public folder. Okay, so don't worry when you see, because I've seen others complain that we're going to have localhost slash Udemy slash public and then that's when we have our index page there. So you needn't worry about this because these folders will be removed when we upload this to our live server because the public folder will be the landing folder itself, okay? So in the public folder, uh, we're going to have another folder here, new, oh, not a new file, let's put a new folder and this one will be assets. Okay, so in there we have the assets folder. Very nice. In app, we're going to create a few, a few new folders there. One is going to be controllers because we need controllers. Again, we right click on app, new folder, and we create another folder called models. And then of course, I'm sure you have guessed by now, we will need a views folder. And then let's add a, an extra fo folder called third party and or you can call it vendor if you want third party you can really call it anything these are 
uh, third party plugins that we're going to add in there just in case we need them because usually payment systems will give you files that you need to add in your system and we're going to add them there and in case you need to get a class that is third party you can put it there okay so we have controllers models and views very good so this is the basic folder structure that we need now in our public folder that's where our index page will go so i'm going to right click oh we've forgotten one folder in app here uh, one more folder which is the core folder now core folder is the uh, application itself the core of the application now the reason we have this core folder is that if you want to create a new website you can delete everything from controllers folder models third party views and leave everything in the core folder once you do that you can then copy the whole folder and create a very new website from there okay so what we are really building here is a framework just like laravel or code igniter so we're building our own framework that we can use instead of starting from scratch on our next project on your next project you can just copy this and add some new controllers new models and new views then you have a completely different website okay so this makes things reusable now in the public folder we're going to create a new file and this file is index.php okay i'll type that and click save so i'm going to save in the public folder index.php save in here i'll just say my website like so we just want to see if we are going to be able to see this and that's it so let me try and put an h1 tag so that it's bigger on the screen so we'll save that that's index.php so if i now go to this location so i'm at udemy and then slash public Okay, so once I do that, I'm at my website. So which means we have successfully loaded the index page here. And this means everything is working fine. Now, like I said here, there's localhost slash Udemy slash public. Some of you may want to uh, eliminate this Udemy slash public. If you want to do that, instead of tinkering around with settings, just put your folder or your files inside the htdocs folder directly here so whatever you put directly here will load uh, when you when you just type localhost but i don't recommend that because you have many projects it's better to put them in folders but these folders will disappear when we move this whole thing to a live server okay so now that the index page has loaded we are good and golden so from here we can begin creating stuff now of course our index page will not have any html it will just be a loading system that's all we will be loading files that are found all the way here all right and the reason we've made it this way where we have the public folder separate from the app folder is because of security reasons our application will run the files that will really uh, run our application will be in the app folder here but then the app folder will be one level above the public folder so this means that if somebody types a website name like your website.com like this the moment they enter this into the web uh, browser they are going to be taken straight to the public folder so using this method if I type like this and then I put slash because from here on any navigation to another folder let's say the person wants to go to the assets folder they can do that by typing slash assets like this and then they'll be taken into the assets folder and that actually works for any website you can try that on the internet so for example if I go to let's say on ZAMP, if there's any image here, for example, on a website, maybe even Google, uh, let's go to google.com. Okay, so there's an image here on Google. If I right click and say, open image in new tab, right? 
this is the image right here now as you can see the image is in a folder there's a folder called images branding google blah 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 and then there's a png image now if i remove the name of the image from here and press enter i am now in a folder inside the google server okay even this folder images okay so even though they've put security measures of course this is google they know this stuff so normally on other websites you would see a list of images here coming up and that is a security risk so what we are doing here is trying to avoid such a thing because we're going to put this folder outside this app folder is outside the main folder which is this one so no matter what you do here you can't type to go back to this folder you can try though by doing dot dot and slash which means a folder above but this won't work at all because servers have that security where they don't allow you to see folders that are beyond the public folder so that's why we're putting our folders outside the public folder here and not in here because if we put them in here somebody can just type slash app like this and then see all the classes that you have and the files in there and possibly download them and then they will know all your passwords to your uh, database etc etc so let's do it this way and we are golden all right so now that uh, this has loaded just fine uh, like this we are good to go so in the next one let's create our routing system